Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be talking about the most controversial, the most debated topic in professional football, and that is VAR. What do you want, Diva? This is my cat. She'll be here too. Should there be VAR in football? Now, a lot of people like it and a lot of people don't. And I think a lot of people don't like it when it works against them, like uh, a penalty gets awarded and they lose the game due to VAR. VAR is not a new thing in America. The MLS has had VAR before any team in Europe did, you know? We're like FIFA's guinea pigs testing if VAR actually works. I've gone to RSL games where they've had to use VAR. The ref has to run off the field, go watch his TV. So annoying. And I can say that VAR has worked against me and for me. When I tell you why I don't like VAR, it's not because my team gets screwed all the time by it. Because of my dad, I have this passion for football. What I love so much about it is the drama the game causes. Because there's bad calls and there's good calls. Bad calls, to me, are just part of the game. That's what can make a game so dramatic and so exciting. And when you add VAR to that, it takes away all the excitement for me. VAR allows for the game to be called more accurately. Isn't that better? You know, Stress Rhino, that is true. Hold on, guys. Hold on. You know, like, 30 seconds after the, the challenge has happened. Okay, let me jog off the pitch. Okay, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. And he does his little stupid thing. Penalty. See, that to me is just too damn long. The only technology in football that I like is goal line technology because it's really fast. Because the ref has a- he has a watch and when the ball crosses the line, it buzzes. When his watch buzzes, he just goes, goal. And I saw someone saying, soccer's finally catching up to the rest of the world now that they have VAR. If you don't know what VAR is, it's Video Assistant Referee. If you don't call VAR VAR and you call it VAR, don't VAR just sounds stupid. Did you know that in the 1970 World Cup, yellow and red cards were first introduced, and everybody thought that was a terrible idea to add a method to kick players out of the game and make the team go down a man? Yes, I did stress right now. VAR is still fairly new, so like Stress Rhino said, in the 1970 World Cup, yellow and red cards were just becoming a thing, and everyone was just saying how dumb of an idea that was. For me, I can't imagine the beautiful game without cards. I can't imagine how that would even function properly. How do you even referee without that? Do you just say, hey, you're out? What do you say? Do you just not kick anyone out? Someone kills somebody and you can't do anything about it? What do you do? Because of VAR, the 2018 World Cup had the most penalties awarded in any other World Cup, whether or not that's a good thing or not. Most of the time, the, the ref didn't even see it. But then when it goes to VAR and it's in slow-mo, the ref can go, oh, I'll call that. Sure, why not? I walked all the hell over here. Might as well make something of it. Soccer's fast pace. I like that it, it doesn't stop. They have VAR now, but the refs really get to pick and choose when they want to use it. If they had VAR, why don't they add that for every single play? Huh? Why don't you just completely ruin the game that I love? Why don't you just make every time someone goes down, you use VAR, huh? You want to call the game more accurately? Calm down, man. Shut the fuck up, Stress Rhino. Shit. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave this video a like if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe. Let me know your views on VAR. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. And I will see all you guys in my next video. Shopping.